Hello everyone and welcome to the Chi family. This video I will be having an interview with a 12 year old, which is me, <laughs> which is this one here. It's just going to be a quick one. And first of all, let me introduce to you this girl. Her name is Christabel, Christabel. and she's also learn science with Christabel. So she has a YouTube channel as well, her own personal YouTube channel that is called Learn Science with Christabel. So just in case if you're not familiar with her, please, I will leave the link in the description box. So just go there, subscribe to her. Then science is made easy. It's so easy to learn science for children, for adults. And if you have any video request for her, based on her niche just leave your comment in her comment section or in the chi comment section so if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe like and share this video okay and returning subscribers we appreciate you thank you so much for all the massive love and support thank you so very much <laughs> result in her school this session because with all the ups and downs that we all went through the past uh, year but she made the best result so I'm going to be answering her a few questions concerning her achievement and her advice to people at her age okay so if this is what you're interested in hang around and let's enjoy this video so as you already know i have introduced her to you so the first question i'm going to ask her i will be looking down on this phone because that's where i have my questions so the first question i'm going to ask her is what she wants to be when she grow up so i want to be either a biologist or an astrologist i like both of the, i like biology and astrology so i actually don't know yet but there's a two under side in right now. Okay, so you've heard her. And what are your best subjects in school? Art, science, depending what we're learning on. Maths depending, I think. Okay. English, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Alright, so how do you manage to cope? How did you manage to cope throughout last year learning online? What do you think about home learning? I mean, like the online learning. Is it Google Classroom? Yeah, Google Classroom. How do you? What do you think about it? And uh, how do you feel about it? Home learning is okay. Well, the first time I did it when I was in, that was in year six, it was quite hard. But now that I'm in secondary school, it's not been being that much hard for me. We don't get that much. We don't get that much homework as much so yeah home learning is okay so are you saying learning at home is better than going to school no i'd rather go to school than learn at home okay because i can because i can concentrate more because when i'm at home i can't concentrate then also my eyes have been being on the screen so much so it's better to go to school okay so being you're learning at home mm -hmm. how do you manage your phone not being a distraction to you. Well, sometimes I put my phone um, away when I'm actually learning, or sometimes I use it only if we're looking up stuff while we're learning online. And also, I use it to catch up so that if I actually miss a lesson, and just go because I have a group chat. So if I if I have any lessons after that lesson that I don't know, I just go there and they'll say which lessons we're having. So yeah. Alright, so but you if but apart from that, I just put my phone away and don't use it. So Unless, you don't yeah. go to WhatsApp, you don't go to check this, you don't go to check that. I do go to check that just in case if you've called me. Okay, yeah, go to check if I have called you. Alright, so what is your advice to young people who who are constantly on their phone 
whether they are learning or they are not learning even at home anytime they are constantly on their phone playing games or doing other stuff don't you love brain too much because it may become a distraction and it may cause you to procrastinate like let's say you've you let's say you want to do one thing today but on your phone so much like i'm gonna do it tomorrow and you don't do it so yeah don't be on your phone too much all right so um you know where i'm heading to now because you got the highest head teacher award i know my course congratulations <laughs> so she got the highest a uh, head teacher award how does it make you feel very proud of myself i didn't know i could achieve that okay yeah she's very proud of herself she didn't know she can achieve that but now that you know that it's achievable what are your expectations? What are we expecting to get from you in your year eight? Uh, expecting that I might get another one or even higher award if there is a higher award. Okay, wow. That's a very, very high expectation. She's going to get another one or even a higher one. What you are doing 13 subjects in school and you got 12 A's and one B in geography. So that's like a very, very great achievement. How do you feel about that? Great, because it's better than my last one, which I got 11 A's on. So just one more A added. Wow. So you see, you had 11 A's um, last time. No, wait, it was eight. No, eight A's and five B's. Yeah. All right. Five, eight A's and five B's. And then this time, you just went up and then had. Uh, 12 A's and 1 B. Mm. What a massive, a massive change. I mean, like, it is extraordinary. Added, you added like 4 A's and then only 1 B. So, now that you have achieved this, what are we expecting next year? That I get all A's if I can. Yes, she wants to get all A's if she can. So what is your advice to young people out there? To study. Also have a schedule so you know when to do things. And also pray as well. Because praying helps and that's what helped me get all the awards that I got. Alright. She prays and that's what helped her. And also to work hard and study as well. All right. So guys, you have heard Christabel and she has really, really done well this year. And I want to ask, did you have time to play? Like going out, going to the park or going anywhere during the time you were writing your exams or learning? Were you still on YouTube supporting people sometimes? No. Christabel have one last word to say to you, audience and a little advice to people who are also going what class are you going again year eight she's going to go to your year eight she just finished her year seven and going to year eight so what advice will you give to people your age or people who are struggling to focus on their studies so if you always need help go and ask for help to someone you trust and don't just sit there alone and also make time to study and also pray because praying will also help you and don't just always be on social media because that will also be a distraction to your learning and also being on a phone isn't too good for your health all right wow it was going to be a quick one nice one just to know her experience being in year seven and how she has worked so hard and her achievement i'm really proud of her not because she's my daughter but just because she has actually worked so hard to get to where she is and i encourage you out there help them i don't help her academically because i don't know anything no. all i do is i create time for her to make sure i ask if you need help let me know if you need support in this area in that area let me know and i say to her i might not support you in every area but i can give you a word and when she's down i reach out to her and say what are you doing take some time off you know 
take some time and relax and it's been like she's someone that when she's stressed she draws isn't it yeah when she's stressed she draws to release her stress so look for something that could help you to calm yourself down when you're stressed as a student and it will help to bring back the passion of learning back into you or into your head so how much do you help and support your children's learning it's not about sitting down there talking on the phone while we are doing it while they are doing it or they need moral support they need emotional support and physical support they need it all and you need to reach out to them when you feel like they are not getting it right or they are not doing it right you can go to them and ask where are you struggling how do you think i can help you if there's any way i can help let me know if there's any way you need help even if you think that my head don't support you i know if he help you just tell me i might ask someone who can be able to help you that's the kind of advice i give us if you think i can help you let me know i might reach out to someone who can help you and solve if this math is anything so guys we have come to the end of this video and we appreciate you thank you for listening and watching this video please don't forget to leave your comment like and share thank you so much we appreciate you from the chief family and from learn science with christopher jeff shelley's kitchen Make sure you reach out <laughs> and like and share and subscribe. So, bye everyone.